دی اوپنیشد سیریز موجود یو ول بی پرووائڈیڈ فور وین دی انر وائس اور دی سینٹر اسپیکس ٹو یو فرسٹ سیز پر ہیپس می بی اٹ می ہیپن اینڈ دین دی نیکسٹ اسٹیج وین دی ٹرسٹ ڈیپنس اٹ سیز یو ول بی پرووائڈیڈ is not that it sees but from deep within a voice comes that I will be provided for. When you were born, you came to a strange place. You have no credentials, you have no references. But you were provided for. As soon as you were born, milk appeared for you. You were given a shelter. But the child in that state was unconscious. As the seeker continues to journey, Trust grows in him. He knows that I have always been provided for and I will be provided for. This particular statement that I will be provided for is the fragrance of trust. In the middle of the night, his, the inner voice, The mysterious guide of the seeker says, get up now, uses the word and emphasizes now. Get up now and leave this fisherman. It is always now with the master. It is never tomorrow. It would have been easier and more compassionate to tell him You can rest right now, but tomorrow morning we leave. But the master always uses the language now. For master, the only time that exists is now, and the only space that exists is here. So this is the dimension of now here. And he says, you will be provided for. Now things have changed. His does not say perhaps. Does not say perhaps you will be provided for. Just these small nuances of the words. And you will be unfolding the mystery of the story. The choice of the words, their arrangements, all that creates nuances and gives a meaning to the story. You and that will start unfolding the mystery of the entire story. First, Jesus said, Perhaps someone will save you. And now he says you will be provided for. Now, the story as it progresses, what has really changed? The trust shown by Maujud is tremendous. There is no need to say now, perhaps. No need at all. He has been tested. by the phrase perhaps. He has proved his method. Now things can be said as they are. There is no perhaps really. If you meditate, Samadhi, the ultimate is guaranteed. 
if you fall in love with an alive master enlightenment is bound to happen there is no perhaps but perhaps has to be used just to give you an opportunity to grow in trust this particular phrase perhaps it may happen it gives you an opportunity to grow in trust once the trust has arisen there will be no need for this phrase perhaps the day your mind loses its control and you are ready to do all that your master says you and i the realm of heart a new journey of trust begins then my love nothing can stop you from being enlightened slowly and slowly i am talking to that peak of experience i am happy at one such peak moment i wished i was around for you it may be an ordinary moment but for me it is indeed a great opening opening between our reality at such moment existence pours itself into you in myriad ways existence pours itself into you feel what happened in that moment when you said those words all barriers finished such is a moment that you must cherish maujood immediately quit the hut he did not even ask for the time i can go tomorrow in the night where will i go it is so dark and what is the point of going in the night and where so to you did not lose a moment and were ready this will take you much deeper no you simply quit the hut dressed as fisherman and wandered about until you came to a highway as dawn was breaking he saw a farmer on a donkey on his way to the market do you seek work asked the farmer because i need a man to help me bring back some purchase maju followed him that is how it perhaps happens in inner journey if you can trust something or the other will always happen and will help in the process of your growth that is how it always happens in a mysterious way you will be provided for whatsoever is needed at a particular time will be given to you never before it remember never before it at the right option it will be given to you you have to learn to trust the existence you will get only when you need it and there is not even a single moment's delay when you need it you get it immediately instantaneously that is the beauty of the trust you must to remember by and by you learn the way of how existence goes on providing for you 
how existence goes on caring about you. You are not living in an indifferent existence. It never ignores you. But your desire-oriented mind feels that. You are being neglected and you have to go to this priest, to that, to find a special prayers in order to continue. You are unnecessarily worried. All is provided for. Once you have the knack of knowing this, all worries vanish. All tension and other negativities too vanish. Maujud followed the farmer. He worked for the farmer for nearly two years, by which time he had learned a great deal about agriculture but little else. This too will happen around him. Your daily activities will have are different qualities, cooking will attain a new dimension, life around will have a new meaning, you will dress differently, more elegant, elegant for your beloved. Doing all this, only one remembrance but no point. And what about meditation? And what about enlightenment and what about the ultimate? And I had come to that and look what I am enjoying now. Only trust knows that while you are cleaning the floor, something is being cleaned in you too. While you are watering the plants, somebody deep down is watering your being as well. If you trust, all is possible. Such is the magic of trust. Cleaning is meditation. Cooking is meditation. Washing is meditation. Love making is meditation. Meditation is not something apart from life. Indeed, it is a quality that can be brought to any act. And then that particular act is immediately transformed. Maudud started working with the former one afternoon when he was wailing, he was bailing Wool, his appeared to him again and said, Leave that work. Walk to the city of Mosul and use your savings to become a skin merchant. Diverse opportunities. One afternoon, when he was bailing wool, his appeared to him again and said, Leave that work. Walk to the city of Mosul. Use your savings to become a skin merchant. If trust is there, there will be no anger, no disturbance. Because here you are not in the library, or to be in the kitchen, or to be in this or that. No, you are not. All those are devices. You are here to learn the ways of trust. Do you think you are getting interest in cooking and other things just so? you are being encouraged subtly into it, so that you learn how to trust and grow more and more. Leave that work. Walk to the city of Mosul and use your savings to become a skin merchant. 
Now he had never been a skin merchant. You are forced into something that you have never known. This is the meaning of trust. Now, you, he had never been a skin merchant, but he obeyed. Maudud obeyed. That is the dis definition of a disciple, one who simply obeys. Does not put his question mark. In Mosul, he became known as the skin merchant, never seeing his again while he piled his trade for three years. He had saved quite a large sum of money, and he was thinking of buying a house when his appeared again. That moment when he was he had earned a lot of money and was thinking of buying a house. His appeared and said, Give me your money. Walk out of this town as far as distant Samarkand and go for a grocer there. Maudud did so. Remember, Maudud means one who is available to the moment. What is happening in the moment, what thought comes to your mind, all that has to be formed. It will happen to you too many times. This story is not the story of Maju. You are. This is your story. You are living in the world of a Sufi. That is why I said listen to this story as deeply as possible. Let it sink into you. Let it sink into you. Now he had collected as working as a grocer. He had collected a large sum of money. And naturally he was thinking to purchase a house. And for three years he had not heard anything from his at all. The moment he started thinking of purchasing a house, that means the moment you start thinking of settling, the master comes and unsettles you again. You are not to settle in this world. God is your ultimate destiny. If he had not thought about the house, his might not have appeared in it. But the moment he had the money, the possibility to become a householder, to purchase a house and settle forever, the master happiness. With a master you can never settle forever in anything. That is what journey means. A river continuously flows towards its destination, that is the ocean. It remains turbulent, it never stays, never settles at any place, continuously flowing. Your life is a continuous flow until you reach the destination. With a master, you can never settle forever in anything. The master has to go on changing you. The moment you feel now your roots are getting deeper into the soil, you will be uprooted. The moment you feel now I have learned this work and I am doing it efficiently, your work will be changed. Because that is not the purpose when you live in a Buddha field. The purpose is to constantly keep you insecure. So one day you learn the beauty of uncertainty. So one day you forget about settling and the very pilgrimage becomes your goal. The very pilgrimage becomes your goal. When journey itself is the goal, then your life is a life of seeker. 
his appeared and said give me your money now he had earned work for 3 years continuously and all the hopes are destroyed not only is the money taken away he is ordered to walk as distant as possible to a far away distant land of samarkand and work there for grocer maujood bitsu presently he began to show undoubted signs of illumination this is natural if you trust so much how long can you remain in dark if there is trust to such an extent such immense trust how long can you remain an ordinary extraordinary things started to happen around him presently he began to show undoubted signs of illumination he became luminous he healed his sick served his fellow men in the shop during his spare time and his knowledge of the mysterious became deeper and deeper you will see something like this happening around you he began to show undoubted signs of illumination he became luminous he healed the sick served his fellow men in the shop during his spare time and his knowledge of the mysterious became deeper and deeper and he had not been taught anything see the whole point of it the whole beauty of it he had not been taught anything he had not been given any information this still is his, his insights into the mysterious was growing all along his insight into the mysterious was growing all along not only that he had himself become mysterious now people were healed by his touch now people could see something surrounding him and all now when people came to him they could feel they were close to a very cool energy they came with thousand and one worries and suddenly those worries disappeared sitting by the side of mojoo they start feeling something of religion deeper mysteries would happen remember knowledge information of all world true religion never happens as knowledge but as revelation knowledge is man's effort to know about the reality and revelation is god's not man's and this is started happening as the meditation deepens whenever your trusting is enough it reached its ultimate when never thinks about a moment's delay does all is asked that very moment god reveals himself he opens his mysteries those mysteries are not open because of your curiosity instead those mysteries are open because of your trust knowledge comes out of curiosity wisdom comes out of revelation wisdom is a revelation now the fragrance has started spreading it has already started surrounding you let me take you to that pinnacle clerics philosophers and others visited him and asked under whom did you study where did you learn all this 
this started happening to Mojo. Now that is always what the foolish person asks. Under whom did you study? The clerics, the theologians, the philosophers, the professors, the learned ones, the scholars, they know only one way of knowing, that is knowledge. From whom have you got this knowledge? Who had informed you about all this? Who had been your teacher? They don't know. There is a very, very diametrically opposite way of knowing. The real way of knowing, nobody gives you any knowledge. You simply become more and more silent. And in that silence, you become receptive, more and more feminine and soft. And suddenly, things start being revealed to you from some unknown energy. There is no teaching. Life itself becomes the teacher. Mahjum said, it is difficult to say under whom I studied. I have not studied under anybody. I have not studied at all. I am not a learned man. It has happened certainly. I have come to know certain things. But I do not know from whom. Who had been penetrating my being? From where the beyond has penetrated in me? I know nothing. It is difficult to see. His disciples ask, How did you start your life? Mojood replied as a small official. Now that is irrelevant. They are not asking how he started his bread. They are asking how did you start becoming a great saint. And he said that I do not know. All I know that I was a small official in a town. I would have ended as an inspector of weights and measures to reach to a high position. Then the disciple tried to poke, and you gave it to devote yourself to self-mortification? No, I just gave it up for no reason. See the point. If you give something in order to get something else that is not renunciation, if you renounce the world to get into heaven, this is not renunciation. This is simply a bargain. You are being cunning and clever and calculating. He says, no, I just gave it up. There was no reason really to give it up. In fact, it almost, it was almost mad. It was almost mad to give it up. I was hankering to achieve something. I have not given it up for anything. I simply gave it up. They did not understand him. Because without motivation, how can you do something? Trust knows how to do things without motivation. Trust does not know any motivation. People approached him to write the story of his life. He became famous by and by. What have you been in your life, they inquired. Listen to his answer. It is one of the most beautiful answers. I jumped into the river, became a fisherman, 
then walked out of his reed hut in the middle of night after that i became a farm hand while i was baling wool i changed and went to mousul where i became a skin merchant i saved some money there but gave it away then i walked to the city of samarkand where i worked for a grocer and this is where i am now now what kind of spiritual life is this but this inexplicable behavior throws no light upon your strange gift and wonderful example said the biographer maujood responded but that is how it is that is how it is the wisdom of this inner is just like this he agrees perfectly that is so he is also puzzled because he had not specifically done anything to become spiritual to do anything is specific to become spiritual is a pure way to lose it spiritually it is a gift it comes to those who trust it happens to those who love and who love immensely and who love without any motivation it happens to the courageous always to the courageous it happens to those who have a great longing to live dangerously so the biographer cons constructed for maujood a wonderful and exciting story because all saints must have their story and their story must be in accordance with the appetite of the listener not with the realities of life that is how all the stories of the world have been created jesus is not born out of a virgin that is a story created to fulfill the appetite of the listener Jesus has to be special only then he will only then will he will appeal to the people only then people will feel happy their master is special so all the world religions go on fabricating stories fictitious those are not true they are just to fulfill the appetite how can jesus be ordinarily born out of a woman's womb how can jesus be sexually born he has to be extraordinary and the reality is that jesus was one of the most ordinary persons so was buddha so is krishna and if you go into the stories nobody is ordinary miracles abound things that should not happen and cannot happen happen those stories are just fabrications to fulfill your desire for sensation behind those stories the real lives the real lives have been lost the really extraordinary person is one who lives utterly ordinary because how can you live extraordinary if your ego has disappeared the moment the ego has gone you will be a very you will live a very ordinary life the zen master says we chop wood we carry water from the well how marvelous how wondrous chopping the wood marvelous carrying the water from the well wondrous yes it is so doing the ordinary things for day to day life 
are wondrous. So the biographers created a story about Maju. That is what they have been doing down the ages, through the ages, all falsifications. You do not know the true Jesus. You do not know true Buddha. My whole effort is here is to bring you to the truth, their true stories. That is what I am offering everyone. Life moves in a mysterious way. The biographers fulfill your desires, appetites. Christians are all the people who have vested interest. They may not like this. But that which is, it is a simply symbolic, a parable, it simply indicates something, it is a point. This is the real life of a person who is on the way. The real life is only represented figuratively, symbolically, metaphorically. This story is not to be understood literally. It is a story of trust. It has not happened exactly like this. It need not happen exactly like this. It is just a representation. If you remember this, you will have the glimpse of the real life of trust and we are trying to live this parable here. This is your story. Get into it. Not only the words, but into the meaning of it and live this story. Only by living it, you know it. There is no other way. There is no other way. The journey of Mojo is a continuous flow.